there folks. So today I am going to show you how to get Pac-Man versus running with the Dolphin emulator. And you got to link it up through a GBA emulator, got Visual Boy Advance M. I'm going to show you everything you need to do to get it up and running first. I mean, you need, you need the ROM file for Pac-Man versus, of course. But these instructions, I'm going to pull this over here. I got multi monitors going, so you'll see things flying uh, to the side of the screen here, but don't worry about that. Anyway, so the instructions are for Four Swords Adventure on the, the Dolphin Wiki up here. I'll put this link in the video description. It's the best uh, description I could find for instructions of what to do here and some troubleshooting because I ran into some issues, particularly this one. I need a dump version of DSP LLE. But anyways, I'm going to move this off the screen so we can get to it. So this is first launch VBAM right here. We need to go to emulation. This is uncheck pause when inactive. So we do that. See, there's the checks gone. Then you want to go over to options, Game Boy Advance, configure, boot ROM, and you need the GBA BIOS.bin file. You're going to have to Google that, find it on your own if you don't already have a copy of it from your own GBA system. I can't provide links, sorry. Um, then you hit OK. And then we'll go back to options, Game Boy Advance, hit use BIOS file. Then we go to options, link, type, and we'll set that to GameCube. And then you go back to options, link, and you hit local mode, options, link again, link at boot. And now close that. It'll save the settings, launch Dolphin, and here we go. So we got that launched already. We're going to go to controllers and you need to set port 4 to GBA. So it'll connect to the uh, VBAM emulator. And I've got port 1 set for the GameCube adapter for Wii U. So it's detected. Now you can set this to whatever you use. I've, you know, I'm using an actual GameCube controller here. If you have an Xbox 360 controller, set the standard controller and set that up. Or you can use your keyboard, whatever you want to do. Um, but you'll need to set up a port 1 and a port 4. It's going to be a, a multiplayer game here. So, close out of that, and we'll go ahead and boot up Pac-Man Versus. And I'm just using up a portion of the screen here, instead of the whole thing, so we can bring over VBAM here in a second. And when you get to this point where it says connect the Game Boy Advance to controller socket 4, let's see, let me browse over to my other monitor here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. It'll give you an error about Joybus not being ready or whatever. Just hit OK. Ignore that. Um, one more thing I forgot to show you before we really get started. I had mentioned in the troubleshooting steps right here, you may need to install a dump version of DSP LLE, which I did have to do. Or whenever you start up VBAM over here and you tell it to connect to the Dolphin emulator, both of them just freeze. So, I've got this tab open here. I'll put this in the video description for how to dump it and exactly where you need to place it. Um, let's see, where was that at? Right here, move the files to the GameCube folder, which is just under my documents, Dolphin, slash Dolphin emulator, so that's GC. There'll be two files, these two right here, dspcof.bin and dsprom.bin. Um, if you can't dump them off your own, you can Google them, find them that way, download them. Can't give a link again, because that's uh, copyright Nintendo uh, documents or files right there. But you need to get these two files, put them in that folder. Then, let's see, get this back out of the way here. Um, and then Dolphin, you'll want to go to Configure, and under Audio, this is grayed out because I already have a game running. You need to set to DSP LE Recompiler, and that'll use those dump files. Um, and it'll work properly. So now we'll go back here. You'll need to set up um, your input. I've already pre-configured this to use an Xbox 360 controller. And let's see, we'll go to open, open up that BIOS file that we had set earlier. And it kind of, I wasn't gonna talk over that because that was loud. It kind of crashes, hangs for a second. 
but it says connecting, give it a second. It's booting up here. Boom, there we go. Now the Dolphin Nimmer says press start, which will be for me, my GameCube controller. So I'm gonna hit that. Now it says look at the TV. You can set uh, multiple players if you want. If you have multiple controllers hooked up to um, your GameCube through Dolphin Emulator, you can, let's see, pull that open. You can go here, you can set these up to more controllers, USB controllers, wireless controllers, keyboards, whatever you want. Um, I just barely test this out a little bit from what I know, the GameCube controllers, the ones you have hooked up to Dolphin, actually control the ghosts. And on VBAM, uh, whatever you use for a controller over here is gonna control Pac-Man. So I'm just gonna set up to two players now because it's kind of too complicated. Try to get these scores. Just do that. You have all these different modes here. For now, we'll just do the original Pac-Man. And let's see, so it's doing something here, loading up. This is your Pac-Man. Okay, so I guess it depends on how that random generator selects who's Pac-Man and who are the ghosts. I thought maybe um, the VBAM was always the Pac-Man. Okay, so you take the Game Boy Advance and press start. So that will be on my Xbox 360 controller. So yeah, we got both screens going here. You'll see Dolphin shows like ghost views. So right now I'm using the GameCube controller. Uh oh, I'm not paying attention. So I'm using the GameCube controller to control one of the ghosts. And then the 360 controller for VBAM to control. Um, I may have said that backwards. I don't know, this is getting complicated because it keeps switching. Okay, press start. I'm trying to hold two controllers in my hand at the same time. So I'm gonna to try to just control Pac-Man. Ready? As soon as it'll let me go. Okay, so yeah, Pac-Man's being controlled with VBAM. It's a little bit loud. Okay, and you'll see that on VBAM, that ghost has a C by it, that's computer. The one with the one, I'm controlling that now with the GameCube controller, the red ghost. So I'm gonna come set the red ghost up. I'll screw this up here to get captured. There we go. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna keep going for just a second here. Let's see if I can pause. Can I get out of this? I'm not really sure how to back out. So I'll just keep going for a second here. So I want to try out one of the different modes. So just original Pac-Man. I haven't, I haven't tested out any of those yet. Apologize for the loud sound on uh, VBA. -M. My computer won't let me adjust the audio on that right this second. Plus I don't have any extra hands holding two controllers right now with, with one hand's a little complicated. Get out of the way. Uh, stop chasing me. So the goal is to get 7,000. He's gaining on me. I don't think that's going to happen. He's about to get me. Can't get him off of me. Like a heat seeker. Okay, we'll just run into him. Let's see if we can't end this. I don't know what I gotta do to end this here. I'm trying to hit several buttons. Okay, maybe I just have to restart everything. So we'll try that real quick. Close that. Close that. Get that booted up. Joy Bus Air over here. The recent. I'm just doing this because I want to test out a different mode. See if it's really any different or if it's similar gameplay. Just doing this for my own curiosity. All right, Panic Piper. Whoa, Haunted Hall. Let's try that. So yeah, this uh, this game, last time I tried it out, was like a Dolphin 4 point something build. I think it was a dev build. It wasn't like 4.0.2, but it wouldn't work. 
So this was fixed, I don't know, it might have been a year or two ago now. It's, it's been a little while that they got it actually working. All right, here we go. Ready? Sure, why not? Okay, so this time we got the 360 controller, the VBM. Yeah, he's controlling it. He's controlling Pac-Man. So basically, I think all the levels are the same old Pac-Man style, just the layout's different. I thought maybe there'd be like a, a different look to it. You know, like a more modern look to some of those, but apparently not. I've never played really Pac-Man Versus before, so... That would be fun to try out different ones to see. Alright, so I guess... Yeah. My ghost... My ghost guy is not really... Not really chasing me, because I'm... I, mean, I can sit here and try to do both at once, but I'm just going to screw myself up. But yeah, I'm going to pause it there. That's basically it, folks. If you have a buddy, up to, I guess, three other buddies you want to play this with, you can do it now with Dolphin Emulator and VBAM. You just, uh, if you want to connect more, you just open up. Let's see, yeah, you just... I'm, I, you might be able to do multiple VBAMs. I know you can with, like, the Zelda... Um, Four Swords Adventures game, but I'm not sure about this one. But you can, it's probably just easier to to hook up more GameCube controllers. Actually, you probably can't do these because multiples of, of VBAMs. Because you, you can see over here, there's three cameras. So yeah, just hook up more controllers through Dolphin, and you're good to go. All right, I've been rambling for a little bit now, but thanks for watching. It's cool to see this working. I'll do some more of these videos pretty soon. Bye bye now.